Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I have a grocery haul for you guys. Um, this is a Walmart haul and um, this is Friday Hauls and this is an open collaboration that is hosted by my sweet friend Lois over at Life with Lois and I'll link her channel down below so you can go check her out. Um, excuse the hair. I washed it and then I left with it damp without drying it. And so it's very, very hot and very, very humid. It's 91 degrees out, but the real feel is 98. And trust me, it feels like 100, so whatever. So let me go ahead and get into this Walmart haul. First off, I got some bananas. Yeah, I got some bananas. I like to um, take uh, bananas and dip them in peanut butter or um, eat them by themselves or um, I actually have a little dessert that I will share with you guys and maybe I will do it on my um, uh, budget meals under $5. I'll do it as a, a like a snack, like a dessert. That I'll probably do it actually before now that I think about it. I'll do it before this video. So you'll see it on Wednesday and, and, and if you haven't watched that video, just go back and watch that video. So I haven't made it yet, but I'm gonna make it. <laughs> so, and then I also picked up some of this Ken's um, Steakhouse Buttermilk Ranch. We, this is a staple in our house, we always have it. And tonight we're making um, homemade subs, so. Um, I needed to pick up some items for that, which that was one of them. And then I got this Purdue Shortcuts Grilled Chicken for the subs. I got a thing of this thin sliced black forest ham for the subs. And sorry if I'm kind of doing it quick because I do want to get this cold stuff put away. And then I also got the thin sliced roast beef. I haven't, I haven't bought roast beef in like forever, but I thought, yeah, that sounds good. Cause even without making the subs, we can also make, um, roast beef sandwiches or just, you know, um, or even throw them on a salad. That would be good too. And then I got some of the sliced, uh, Colby Jack, which would go really good on those roast beef sandwiches or the ham sandwiches. And then my husband loves this and actually I tried it and now I love it too. So he's probably like, uh oh, <laughs> um, it's the potato salad, the deviled egg potato salad. And I'm not really a big potato salad eater other than I have told y'all that I do love the Sam's loaded potato salad. But when I tried this from Walmart, it's delicious y'all. So, um, I recommend it. And then I got some of the Sabra guacamole and I got this because at uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they have a, uh, for breakfast, they have a guacamole toast. And so I thought my daughter could recreate that. And so I picked her, her up some of this um, seeded rye sandwich bread from Walmart. So as she can toast that up and then put the um, guacamole on there. And that would be delicious. I think that's it for the cold. So hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So, um, sorry, I got a, a message. Um, so for the subs that I was talking about, the bread that I got for that is this um, garlic herb topped Italian bread. Cause I thought we could just, just slice it straight down the middle um, and then half it, of course. Um, but I know like my husband, he'll, he'll want a whole one. And then um, my son might even want a whole one because um, usually when he goes to subway he you know he always gets a whole one um the 12 inch so i did get two two of those um so i'll you know split mine and just do half for mine um my daughter she did not she's not a real big sub person so um i got her something else for dinner and then i picked up a thing of this fully cooked thick cut bacon um because I'm going to do the um, chicken bacon ranch sub for my son. And I think my husband's gonna do 
a barbecue chicken sub because we have um, barbecue chicken left over from last night for, for dinner. So I think he's just gonna do that. And then I got a green pepper because green peppers, if you've ever had the chicken bacon ranch from Subway, green peppers go on that. And then I got a bundle of asparagus because that has been our new favorite vegetable um, this summer, something new that we started um, that we just, neither one of us had ever like been interested in and never really incorporated in our dinners, but now we are. And my daughter loves it too. So I don't think my son, I don't think he's tried it yet. And then I got a red onion because we use the red onions for the chicken bacon ranch as well. And then I got the uh, Fleeman Hot Cool Ranch Doritos for my son. He loves those things. I, I can't, but more power to him. <laughs> and then I noticed that Walmart changed the look of their, um, like their off-brand Sprite. Um, it's the Twist Up Lemon Lime Soda. And um, thank you, Walmart, because uh, with your uh, new look. You've also added a higher price, I noticed. These sodas, I can remember when I would get them and they were 67 cents. They went up to 87, 86. Then it was 96, 93, 96. Um, after COVID and things started going up even more, it was, you know, a dollar, maybe 20 some. It is now a dollar 42 for these sodas. So, um, yeah, two of those. And the same thing with the Cherry Sam's Cola. Same thing, um, dollar 42. So I got two of those. So my daughter likes the Cherry Cola and my son likes the Zero Sugar. Then I got a, um, a uh, case of water, case of water. We definitely like to keep water on hand, especially this time of year because um, hurricane season, hurricane season. So we definitely, definitely, definitely like to keep plenty of bottled water on hand because you just never know. And then last but not least, um, I needed some, well, I needed a, a new white tank top. Um, mine was looking kind of dingy. So I did pick up one and it's an adjustable one. Um, and these were on like, like 4.58 or 5.58. And then I needed um, a uh, new sports bra for my uh, workout tanks that I wear um, over my shirts when we walk in the morning. Um, and I needed a black one, so I got the black one. Mine is just looking so raggedy, it's been probably a year and a half, two years since, probably two years since I got a new one. Um, so I got that and they were 13, 12, 12.98, something like that. Um, and then when I was coming down through to see if they had any white ones, because they had white ones on the shelf where the black ones were and the gray ones were, but they were actually so dirty. I couldn't believe how dirty they were. And I was like, ew, I'm not getting one of those. Um, and so when I went down to where the actual bra area is, I asked the sweet lady down there that was working, I said, well, she was a young girl, you know, and I said, excuse me, I said, um, do you have uh, sports bras down here? She said, oh yeah. And she goes, actually, we have some there on the clearance. And I was like, oh, sweet. So I went over there and she had like this huge rack and then the other two ladies came up and they were looking and they had pajamas and stuff, but they were, um, they were much larger sizes um, from anybody that I, I knew that could wear them. Um, and so, which the pajamas were, um, and then they had um, tank tops. And so I got this pink one um, and I got it in the medium because they didn't have a lot, uh, they didn't have a small, um, and it, but it was $1. It's medium size seven, nine, but it's super soft. And I thought, you know what? I can wear it with my pajamas at night or um, around the house when I'm cleaning, whatever for a dollar, you can't beat that. Um, and then, like I said, she said, go over there on the, um, on that one, um, stand up rack and they have, um, sports bras marked down. They were marked down to $5. I was trying to see what the, the regular price was, but it's covered up. It doesn't actually show it. I'm not sure. Let me see. I can't tell what it says. Um, oh, the regular price was six ninety eight, and I think it, it was marked down to five. So, but, um. 
yeah, so I got that. And I know it says like bralette, um, but I'm actually gonna wear it under, like I said, my, my lighter uh, workout tanks. Um, but you know, you can always wear this under um, like a little cardigan too. I could probably do that. But yeah, so I got that. And then did I show the pumpkin? I got a can of pumpkin for a um, dessert that I'm making. And so I'm super excited to share that with you guys. And that'll be on a video, I know. Um, so yeah, that is my, that's my Walmart haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Please go over and check out Lois and everyone else in this open collab. And until next time, bye y'all. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye y'all.